Okay, we're going to poke this hornet's nest today. This uh, Gigantopithecus is Bigfoot hornet's nest. We're going to poke it and kick it. And then we're going to go running and screaming and jump into the creek. Okay, now what I'm saying is it's my opinion based on my information and my own judgment. You can agree or disagree, that's okay. But in my opinion, Bigfoot or Sasquatch or Hebegon is not, 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 not Gigantopithecus. This idea, I think, is dead wrong. And it's a dead end. And it doesn't take us anywhere. And we have to put it down. We have to euthanize it. And we're going to kill this very speculative, very superficially tempting idea right now. Now, it is a tempting idea because, well, on the one hand, you have a giant bipedal forest primate that you want to, well, you wa everybody wants to identify it. And here, on the other hand, you have a giant bipedal forest primate. And it, it's the right size, the right weight, even the right color. So, mystery solved, right? Well, that is very tempting if you are, uh, well, maybe if you're a little lazy and a little uh, uncritical and a little ignorant of the facts we, or, or careless of facts. Maybe you don't care about the facts, but I do. And uh, Gigantopithecus is not Bigfoot. Why not? Well... First of all, I don't care that these creatures are supposed to have gone extinct millions or millions or or billions of years ago. I uh, millions and billions of years don't impress me very much. I I don't care about that at all. I don't care that there's no fossil record of these creatures outside of Asia, southern China and Southeast Asia. No fossil record. Well, when were the first chimpanzee fossils found? 2005. Well, we could find Gigantopithecus fossils in North America tomorrow. And we could find a surviving population. I'd love to find survivors. I hope we do. But if I found a Gigantopithecus hanging out in my backyard tomorrow, chewing on my, on my trees, well, I'd be very happy and excited. I'd, I'd keep him. I'd give him a name. I'd, uh, I'd house train him. We'd be best friends. We'd go on uh, exciting adventures together. Solving crimes and, and stuff. I'd love to find a Gigantopithecus, but it, he's not Bigfoot. Okay, now this is what I do care about. The, these are the facts that we know about Bigfoot, Sasquatch, he be gone. That mean that he can't be Gigantopithecus. Here we go. Number one. Bigfoot have language. Now we know this because we've heard it. We've heard the tapes. And it it sounds like language. It, it's language. And we have that on the highly qualified professional opinion of Captain R. Scott Nelson, U.S. Navy cryptolinguist whose job it was to detect and decode codes and languages. Now, I'm not saying that every family or every tribe of these creatures has a language with words and grammar. Maybe some do and maybe some don't, but the creature is capable of language, and some of them speak it. All right, number two, 
Bigfoot use tools. They make and use tools. Now, maybe you don't know this, and you can be forgiven if you don't know it. Maybe you haven't read my book. I accept, I fully accept, the 1982 Mitsugi sighting of the Hibigon, Japanese Bigfoot, where the Hibigon was carrying a manufactured tool, a, a, a handmade, a Hibigon handmade tool. And I've read of a Russian Almasti carrying similar tools. Now, again, not every family, not every tribe might mess around with tools, but some of them do. So the creature is capable of making and using tools. Language and tool use. Hmm. Number three. Bigfoot have very human or human-like dentition. Fancy word, just means teeth. Their teeth are very human in form and number, entirely unlike the teeth of great apes and totally unlike the teeth of Gigantopithecus. But you check it out for yourself. Do your own comparison. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Number four, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Hebegon, can mate with humans and produce offspring. They can have babies. Bigfoot and humans can have babies together. How do I know this? Well, I believe victims like Seraphine Long. You read her story. And you may not believe her, but I do. I believe Lucy Thompson. I believe the stories from here in Japan, right here in Hiroshima, Hiroshima Prefecture. This victim testimony is, well, it's good enough for me. I believe it. But on top of that, corroborating it, we have the DNA analysis work of Dr. Melba Ketchum and that group showing that these creatures or the ones that have so far been tested well they are themselves hybrids with human and non-human non-human primate DNA they themselves are products of uh, interbreeding. And you can be skeptical of this. You can be skeptical of all of this. I'm skeptical when I approach things for the first time. I don't want to be I don't want to be a sucker. So you should be skeptical. But you can't be skeptical and lazy and ignorant willfully ignorant. If you're lazy and ignorant, then your skepticism doesn't mean anything. So check things out. Did you know, for example, that Zoo Bank has already approved Dr. Ketchum's registration request for the scientific name for Bigfoot? Already approved the registration on the basis of the DNA analysis. And that Latin name for Bigfoot is going to be Homo sapiens cognatus, based on the DNA. Cognatus means uh, blood-related. These um, creatures or people are related to us by blood. They have human-like teeth. They have language. They have tools. 
and they have in part our blood. Gigantopithecus is in the orangutan line. It's a big old orangutan. You know how they used to have megafauna back in, you know, they, they had big lions and big beavers and big, um, I don't know, weasels or whatever. Well, this is a, it's a mega orangutan. It's a big orangutan. He's a fruit-eating, gentle giant. God love him. I hope he's alive and well somewhere. Enjoying his yummy fruit. But he's no candidate for Bigfoot. He's just not. Hey, this big, this big old fruititarian would never lie in ambush where the bush is close and thick along the trail and grab you. And take you away to marry and or eat you. Reason number five. That he's not our suspect. He's not our man. Let him go. He's not our man. Now I've heard Dryopithecus also raised as a Bigfoot candidate. And no, I'm sorry. He's eliminated too for the same reasons. I don't have the positive answer exactly, but Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Hibigon is, well, we know it's near, it's very near human, really near, a lot nearer than a chimpanzee, and maybe they even are human, it just depends on your definition of human, and that gets a little touchy. So I'm not going to touch it any more than that. But Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Hebegon is a, a blood-related human and non-human hybrid with language and tools. It's not a big old giant orangutan crime-fighting sidekick. Let's put that theory to rest. Rest in peace. Okay, next video, let's have a nice, polite, constructive discussion with some of our lazy, willfully ignorant, falsely accusing, feces-throwing friends who are calling me a liar, a dirty, rotten liar. We're going to try to help them ever so gently to get their minds right. Okay, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.